Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here, and welcome to Quick Tip of the Week. Now, uh, today we are actually going to learn how to use levels in Photoshop. Now, this is something that a lot of manipulators use, and even in backgrounds. Um, so, uh, I'm just going to uh, get straight into it. Um, I'm going to show you on these two settings right here. Now, uh, actually, I'm just going to do a uh, quick, little, just quick little announcement. The reason I haven't really been uploading quite too often is because in one of my classes here, um, there's a few things that I need to do in actual Photoshop that it's taking up some time. So I'll show you, uh, I'm just working on a few things right now like this. Uh, this is for school. It's nowhere near done, but it's somewhat done. Um, and then also I'm working on a background. If you guys haven't heard of the channel called BF versus GF, it's just a really huge um, vlog channel. They, they're the owners of Prank vs. Prank, and I'm just doing a quick background for them. So uh, here's like a little sneak peek, I guess you could uh, do. You could uh, see. Um, if you wanted to go check their channel out, just go search up BF vs GF, and you'll see. Um, but enough of that. We're just gonna get straight into the tutorial. So um, first thing you're gonna do is just on a setting like this, you're just gonna make sure that the background isn't locked like it was, and then you're just gonna make sure that it's selected, and then you're gonna have to have adjust the adjustment tab open. If this isn't open, just go to Window and then just do Adjustments, okay? And then it'll just um, appear right here. So there's a whole bunch of different icons in here that you could actually even play with your own. You could just wander around here and see what they will do. But um, we're going to focus on the levels today. So we're just going to click that real quick and then this box should pop up. Now you're going to have these three little settings right here. This is what we're going to be really looking at. So when you start uh, messing around with them, you can already see the pictures changing. Now what I like to do is um, change the one all the way on the right to a little bit of a higher or a little bit of a lower number so it sort of brightens out the white but then also change this to a little bit of a, a lower number also as you can see here it keeps changing but don't do it too much because all you want is just that nice little uh, shadow effect around the sides and now here you can play with your own actually just gives it more of an effect but be careful not to overdo it because then it will look something like this um, or something like that so make sure that you don't overdo it so just make sure that you get a good amount so that you can make sure it's to your liking okay so that's like a quick little thing just to make a little uh, one picture look a little bit uh, a little bit nicer a little bit more like it's supposed to be in a manipulation or any kind of work that you're trying to do so that's enough of that one now this one is actually the setting that I'm using on this one as you can see if you look kind of hard I sort of darkened it out and made sure that the light coming down was really bright and everything just to make it just make a nice effect but uh, here we're actually gonna do something a little bit different so just unlock the layer make sure that it's selected and just click levels and then once this pops up just make sure that you, it's to your liking. Brighten up the white in the sky while darkening out the sides. And it's really simple, really easy. Just make sure you don't overdo it. Otherwise it won't, it honestly won't look too good. And again, you could also play with this, uh, which I'm not gonna get into right now because there's so many different um, possibilities that you could do with this. But guys, um, that's pretty much it. You just all you have to do is just really play around with it. Just make sure that you know it. Just make sure that you don't overdo it. Cause then if you do overdo it, then it's not gonna look too good, and yeah, no one really wants anything like that. So guys, if you enjoyed this, and if you uh, want to learn more about Photoshop, Cinema 4D, and Adobe After Effects, and even Adobe Illustrator, then please do subscribe, guys. Don't forget to comment and like this video. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you later.